So, oh my god, I can't even- Do you want up here? Hi, come on. You wanna lay on my lap for story time? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's going over this. Okay. Okay. Um, so basically, I wake up this morning, I have one thing to do. I just have to mail- uh, my 2015- I have to mail my 2015 taxes out to BC for BC Medical because otherwise they charge me for a month of healthcare for December 2016. And I had to go to the hospital in that month because I got, like, an eye thing while I was filming a web series. So, <sighs> because I don't make enough a year, I don't make enough money to- justify me having to pay the monthly healthcare fee because in BC healthcare you have to pay for it depending on your tax bracket or whatever so basically yes basically I that like I knew it was very important and I had been in contact with them and was like I was on it I was being responsible and like all the shit so I was in contact with them and they're like you have to mail it by <laughs> by the 21st by December 21st um, of this year otherwise it won't apply or blah 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 because I qualify for premium assistance program I'm getting it for like from now on but there was just one month that I didn't have it for because they needed my tax receipts for for the the previous year which would be 2015 and they don't have that so I had to like get all of that and send it out today and I wait, I was, I tried to send it out yesterday, but every shoppers that I went to downtown did not have a post office. Can you, why? Look at her. She's like, you're so pathetic, Gracie. Oh my God. Can you just like chill? Um, but yeah, so I was like, I was all excited to like get up this morning and like, so now I completely forgot what I was talking about because my mom just called and reminded me that I have to more health stuff basically because I've been to the doctor since I've been here for my skin. Anyways, I'm making calls today apparently, that's a thing. Ugh. Basically I wake up this morning all excited to mail my little thing that I tried to mail yesterday and my little envelope and I was like, yeah, I wanted to like film a cute video of me like walking because i can't drive anymore and i don't have a car anyways i wanted to film a cute video of me like walking to the post office with like a cute little hat on and my like little envelope thing because okay wait i'll show you because i have another one i have to mail i still have to mail my like application thing um and i'll show you hang on because the like i was carrying it around all of yesterday <laughs> like um like around the rom with taylor and i just felt really cute you know what i'm saying like i just i don't know it reminded me because it looks like this it's just like this it's just like you know what i mean it's just like a little envelope and i was just like carrying it around like this everywhere and like like clutching it like close to me because it's super important right and i can't lose it and i have to so i'm just like you know what i mean i'm just like carrying it around like this um and it reminded me of like, like I felt like Mrs. Brisby. Like, did anyone else watch that movie, uh, The Secret of Nim? Where like, it's like, it's the mouse, it's the mouse mom. She's like, she's so fucking cute. It's a really cute film. It's actually quite like, I really enjoyed it because um, like it's a kid's movie, it's a cartoon. However, it is, it's like, it's quite serious subject matter, like there's like mental illnesses involved because they do testing on rats and it's like, it talks about all like the side effects, it like, it goes into, it's like really interesting, it goes into like the side effects of um, what testing these like, uh, these mental illness medication on these rats has done to them and it's made them like extremely intelligent so they've created this whole underground like world um, in the bush of like the farmers and that's where all the rats are but this mrs brisby she's the wife of jonathan brisby who's like super famous um of the rats but he's not a rat he's a mouse 
and he got caught up in like he got taken in with them and tested with the rats but he was the only one small enough to um, get out of the cage to help the rats escape so basically he like the rats revere Jonathan but Jonathan didn't make it and could but Jonathan's the only reason that the rats are alive and out of the like testing facility etc and the reason that the rats are like s that they can live their own lives yeah I'm like telling the whole storyline now fuck um but anyways Mrs. Bris so Mrs. Brisby is like basically super famous in well she's like they all know her husband and they know who's passed away because he didn't survive the like the escape and everything but he helped them get out so they have a lot of respect for him and they have a lot of respect for her and her family i.e his kids and one of them the youngest timothy is like really really like almost deathly ill with pneumonia and so basically the whole movie is her trying to uh get timothy better like she's just i just love it because she's just she's just a mom like she's a mother um but she's so cute and so sweet and so the whole adventure like the whole film is just her adventure she goes to the rats to get to get the medicine for timothy that will help him that will make him better and so that he can so that she can like you know what i mean so she can take care of her little son and it's just like it's just a really nice story so basically the whole movie is like her uh, running around with this like it's kept in like an envelope so the whole movie is her clutching this envelope and like keeping it close to her like because she has to get it back to her son so that he can take the medicine and, and it's just like it's just like a good movie you should watch it and if you know it then like good for you respect um but yeah i wanted to have i wanted to have my little like miss brisby moment sometimes i just want to be a mouse sometimes Oh, and I finally, I'm going to edit today because I finally figured out how to get, oh my god. Yeah, if it's, it's a constant struggle. Okay. So, bye. Love you guys. <laughs> Gracie says bye too, but she's like actually sleeping. Okay, so literally like, yeah, I swear this morning I was watching someone's like Snapchat story of them in Paris or something. Uh taking a picture of like a macaroon shop and I was just like I want a pistachio macaroon and then I walk upstairs I look in the fridge and look oh, it's so beautiful so I'm gonna enjoy this pistachio macaroon and so good hmm Actually, I don't know. No, I like it. Okay, so now I'm trying, uh, what is, what is this again? Lavender cream cheese? Mmm. What? <laughs> now they're all laughing at me. <laughs> this is what I live with. <laughs> Let me eat my macaron in peace. <laughs> wow. They're literally just having a laughing fit <laughs> across the room. <laughs> so my sister just died of laughter. <laughs> They can't do it, they really can't. <laughs> Anyways, this was really good actually. Gracie still loves me.